hot. We're recording. My question for the class was, does the on-event handler for lemon and the on-event uh, handler for lime have repeated code? And my students, Adam said yes, Caitlin said C, and Adam says randomization of locations of both the lemon and the lime. So let's take a look there. If you look at lines 48 through 55, it moves the lemon and lime to random locations and then it updates the screen. If we go down a little bit more and we look at the lines 65 through 72, it also moves the lemon and lime the exact same way and updates the screen text. So it's repeated code. So I can make a function, thus creating an abstraction, which will handle the detail for any time that this is needed. So I'm going to create an update screen function. All right, so look at my screen with me. I need some space, so I'm pushing enter. And I'm going to go back to my blocks now. Okay, and I'm going to my functions, and I'm going to create a function. Okay. And the function is going to be called update screen. So I'm going to change this. I'm going to change this to update screen. Now, I usually don't like working in blocks, but I find it easier to see for my students. So update screen. And I've now named the function update screen. You will notice that it's still yellow because it has not been designed, has not been defined. Um, it's defined, but it's not called anywhere in my program. Not a problem. Now, the next thing is I need some room in there. I need some room to work because I'm going to do this in such a way that I can just move blocks around. So I'm giving it a whole bunch of space, a whole bunch of space. And what I'm going to do is <clears throat> I'm going to move line 65 through 72 right down there because 65 through 72 is perfectly programmed. It's just repeated. There's nothing wrong with it. So I'm going to move line 65 down there. And then that's all going to push up. So I'm going to keep bringing line 65, 65, 65. Just keep stacking it up. And then I'm going to update the screen because that's repeated code as well. And so now I've made the update screen its own function. Get rid of some of these spaces so it's nice and pretty. Just keep enough for readability. So I took it out of line 65, so now it's gone. Well, I took all of this out of 65, but I can recover it by calling that function now. All I got to do is call update screen. Again, I'm recording this, so if you're getting lost, it's okay. So now when the now when this when this on event happens, all this code that was taken from here will now be connected to this. Not only that, but I can use that right here Get rid of these lines. Just get rid of them because they're in my function. And all I have to do is call my function there, which was update screen. <clears throat> if I spell it right, update screen. And the yellow goes away, it means I've called it. So now when I click the let when I mouse over the lemon. It'll all happen and it will call the update screen function, which was this. And when I go over a line, it will call the update screen function, which is this. So now both of those uh, events are sharing the same function. So now when I play and I go over the lemon, it will still move like before. And when I go over the line, it will move. Everything moves like before. The program still works the same way. And I was able to use the same function over and over. Now, 
Why? What does this do? Well, I went from commands. What I, I don't count uh, comments as commands. One, two, three, four, five. Plus the date screen, that's six commands. Plus I called it twice, so seven, eight. I went from eight lines down to, from, I went up, to, I'm now at eight lines, but I saved one, two, three, four, five, twice, 10. So I got rid of 10 lines and I replaced it with seven, which means it runs more efficient, faster, with less memory. Now, on a little program like this, it's not a big deal. But if you're writing huge programs, it starts to become a big deal, as anyone who's ever played on Steam and play, try to play ARC knows. Anyone ever try to play ARC on Steam? Yeah, yeah. You need a supercomputer to run it at full, at full strength. And that's because it, it, it has, it is, <laughs> yeah, that is suffering. I think it's poorly programmed, personally. I think it's the program because I've seen programs like it run much better. Um, and I can prove it's poorly programmed because if you run the same version on the Xbox 360, it runs better. And that means that it had to deal with the constraints of the Xbox 360. No, Xbox One. Xbox One, I don't know if it's available on 360. It had to deal with the constraints of Xbox One, but when it came to Steam, they just went, oh, you should have the best computer ever. So um, they, they didn't take in consideration. So programming like this, saving lines of code, makes it run faster and more, more efficient. Now, that's the end of my video there. I'm going to stop my video.